In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a colorful intro slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this gradient fill uh, a background. Then what happens is when I click, you can see here I have created some different color spheres or the oval shapes. All right, and then uh, when I click, the intro text will come. So you can completely change according to your requirement you can change the text you can change the color of the spheres you can change the background so let me just play once again when i click you can see here it comes something like this and then you can see here the bubbles grow and shrink okay so i have used office 2019 version to do this and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial to create the intro slide i'm going to use these colors so first thing i'm going to change the background for that right mouse click and go to format background and select the gradient fill by default there are four stops i'm going to delete two stops you can just select it and delete it and the first stop i'm going to choose the color which i'm going to use this light purple and the second stop i'm going to select go to more uh, colors or you can go to the eyedropper also and select this one and type i'm going to make it as radial and direction you can make it from center all right so it looks something like this the next thing i'm going to add two oval shapes for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key all right and shape outline no outline and align center align middle then i'm going to select the gradient fill and the type i'm going to choose as linear okay and both the uh, stops i'm going to give the same dark color here also dark color and here also i'm going to uh, choose the dark color now i'm going to add two more stops so just click it here and one more click it here now what we need to do for these two stops which are in the middle i'm going to make it fully transparent you can see here and this also i'm going to make it fully transparent and the direction i'm going to choose this one which is the linear left all right so now if you want more darker or if you want something like this you can see here i can make it like this all right so whichever way you want more or equal size you can just align it properly all right and then i'm going to add one more by pressing ctrl d to duplicate and hold the ctrl shift key together and increase the size and then align center align middle and send this to back all right so we end up getting a shape something like this and then i'm going to add some uh, glossy finish here for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this all right and shape outline no outline and shape fill i'm going to use this color all right and then you can go to the effects go to the soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this all right and again if you want you can make it more bigger all right and then you can make it more like this all right so something we have created now the next thing is again if you want to give more kind of uh, uh, softer look i can just make it more transparent also here all right you can see here i'm just going to make it more transparent so depending on your requirement you can make it transparent or you can go to the soft edges also and you can increase the soft edges something like this even for this also you can make it some soft edges if you don't want you can just remove the soft edges also but let it be like this and then i'm going to add a few 
a glossy oval shapes again some kind of a balls go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose the oval shape draw a small oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and for this also i'm going to choose gradient fill and gradient fill one stop i'm going to choose the color which is this one you can see here the red color and the type i'm going to make it linear and the other one i'm going to choose maybe this color all right so i can just make it more red and then i can just change the direction something like this now it doesn't look glossy for that i'm going to insert one more oval shape maybe this much size here all right and this one i'm going to fill this with maybe kind of a yellow shape outline no outline and then i'm going to give a soft edges for this so you can see here it looks more glossy now all right now once this is done i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side now let me just give some different color combinations here so for here i'm going to give maybe uh this color and i'm going to choose the same color okay and this one i'm going to make it more darker more darker okay like this and for this i'm going to give a white color and you can make it somewhat soft adjust and if you want to increase the size you can increase it and you can keep it like this all right so if it is too dark you can see here if it is too dark i can just go here and i can make it more lighter also all right so this is my second and then i'm going to add one more press ctrl d to duplicate for this i'm going to choose again one color which is somewhat darker blue and other color i'm going to choose which is more light blue here all right and then this one again i'm going to make it white again if you want some more transparency also you can add it now once this is done i'm going to group this press ctrl g you can see here i'm just grouping ctrl g let me just do it again ctrl g to group it and here also ctrl g to group it now i want to increase the size of this i can increase it it looks more shinier I can increase the transparency level all right or i can just go increase the soft edges also whichever way you can do it okay if you want more shiner you need to remove the transparency so now i'm going to select this and hold the shift key reduce the size more smaller but the glossy effect is not there just click it here and reduce the soft edges okay you can see here so likewise you can add press ctrl d reduce the size more smaller and i'm going to put it here for this press ctrl d i'm going to add one here all right and again this also more glossy effect so like this wherever you want to place you can just place it as per your requirement so once this is done now i'm just going to remove this i don't need these colors anymore and if you want you can add one more of this make a bigger one very big sorry select this and make it more bigger all right and you can just send this to back all right so it looks like this if you want make it even bigger all right now let's add some text so here comes your intro text all right make it center align make it white choose some good font i'm going to use arial black increase the size all right and put it in the center so we can see here our design is ready now it's time to add the animation effect close this format background go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select these two oval shapes okay which is the back side here and then add animation more entrance effect i can select basic zoom okay it comes like this and you can make it a delay of maybe 10 or 15 seconds 
0.5 okay so it comes something like this you can see here like this and then i'm going to choose this one all this all right and the same animation i'm going to select which is basic zoom and this is very important you have to say in from screen center so it comes something like this all right and this should happen after previous or you can make it with previous also and this also i'm going to use the same effect which is basic zoom click ok should be from screen center and it should be either with previous you can delay a little bit so let's see how it looks when i click it comes something like this you can see here all right so if you want no delay here i can just adjust it according to my requirement so it comes like this all right so whichever way you feel uh, easy to do it or if i want i can just remove this one and all will come together all right so this is one animation then i want this uh, uh shapes uh, the spheres to you know to uh, automatically increase or decrease the size so i'm going to select this again and i'm going to add animation go to the more uh, this emphasis effect and i'm going to select grow or shrink and click ok so one more it has been added right mouse click effect options i can increase the bounds and click on auto reverse timing duration you can make it medium and until end of the slide and click ok and this should happen with previous all right so let me just show you now it comes now you can see uh, the bubbles you know it is uh, coming i mean this growing and shrinking if you feel that this is very slow again i'm going to select this one effect options i can go to the timings and i can make it more faster and i can just delay this one some of them i want to delay and some of them uh, okay some less delay so depending on your requirement you can just adjust it all right so maybe i want this one to be more delayed now let me just show you so it comes like this and then you can see here something like this you can make your intro slide